Yo guys, what's up? Davis here, and today, actually tonight, I've been working on this console for a customer named Robert Dixon. Um, he wanted me to make a video of his console, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, his console needed a lot of work, like, I'm not even kidding. And he wanted a lot of stuff done to it. Uh, he wanted a cutout, but I'm not doing cutouts right at the moment. Um, I will be once I get my CNC machine working, which shouldn't be too long from now. But, um, I'll keep you guys updated on that anyway. But, uh, yeah, it needed a lot of work. He sent it in, and, uh, when he booted it up, the screen would get, like, it would, like, glitch out. And it would change the screen, like, a different color, like a pink, a pinkish color. Like, it wasn't even the real color of the Xbox. And it would, like, glitch out. Like, there would be no video, and then it would come back in. And, anyway, his GPU is bad. So, um, it, it wasn't actually bad. The solder joint under this, under the GPU was cracked, which usually what causes red ring and no video and everything like that. So I went ahead and refloated. it. I didn't do a reball or none of that because it didn't need that. But I, I did a reball, I mean a reflow on my HR6000. I excuse the mess right now. I've been working. So, um, yeah, I did a reflow on the GPU. And we got it working now, and then we, um, I RGH 1.2, the RGH 1.2 install, let me show you guys the install, looks pretty sweet, um, and then he has a Tails Moon Whisper, Whisper Fan, whatever it's called, and it has that adapter for it, um, and I don't put these on my consoles, but he had this on there, it's a little heat sink for the South Bridge. I didn't put that on there, but it was already on there, so I just I left it. Um, yeah, he wanted music LEDs, so I put I installed all those. Um, just showing you guys my install. So yeah, um, he wanted a music music box or re music remote LEDs. Uh, the antenna is glued, it's super glued right there to the side of it, so um, if you point to the side right here, or when the when the case is actually on, there's going to be like those vents right there, if you point right there at those vents, then you should get um, a lot of signal, but yeah, um, these are glued, and let me explain to you guys why they're glued here, like this, it doesn't look good obviously, but uh, if I didn't glue these, the LEDs inside would eventually fall, and if they fell, they could, um, you know, those resistors on the LEDs or say one of those points on the LED on the LED strips, they could touch one of the points on the board and they could fry the motherboard or, you know, cause other issues that we don't want. So that's why I glue them and they're really reliable. Uh, and plus, you're not even going to see that glue right there on the side anyway. So who really cares? But um, let me go ahead and turn it on for you. I don't have it hooked up to the TV or nothing, but uh, right now it's not on. So I got the I got it on fade right now. Anyway, uh, we'll go through the colors. And we got jump three, jump seven. Fade 3, and then Fade 7, and um, we got different like music, um, music, oh I can't think of the thing, but when it hears stuff, which the, um, the sound box is right here, so I don't have no music to play right now, but you guys get the point if you change the different things. Uh, music 4 is a good one pretty much, so. So yeah, if you play like music with, it's, it's got to be really loud usually because um, these music things are kind of cheap sometimes. So yeah, it's got to be pretty loud. Um, something I've also noticed with these uh, music boxes are uh, if the fan is like 12 volts or 100% in the um, in dash launch 
by changing it to 100%. Um, it doesn't actually work good. Like, it'll just blink randomly because the fans will be so loud. So, I think like 65% or something like that, something around there, uh, is a good is a good fan speed and doesn't mess up the music box. So, uh, another thing is I haven't changed the ROL out yet. Uh, I will be doing that probably tonight or tomorrow. I don't know. But, yeah, guys, I wanted to show you this video. Um... Yeah, let me know what you think about the wire rotting and everything. It's RGH 1.2, so it, it boots instantly. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I got covered. Oh, it's a, it's a Falcon RGH 1, by the way. I mean, an RGH 1.2. So, yeah, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe for more and better videos. Thanks. Peace out. Yo guys, what is up? Davis here, and this is a finishing product. I just showed you guys the um, the inside of the console with you know all the wire routing and everything, and uh, the console is pretty clean. I'm just gonna show you guys. You know, it's not dirty because I cleaned it. Obviously, I'm gonna clean up my workstation a little bit. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on for you guys. You want a remote LED, just like I showed you. Should boot pretty quick. And you want it rainbow ROL -R LEDs. And um, I should have booted the Gazelle for you guys just to show you it's RGH. He's got a family timer on, I need to um, remove it. But I'm just gonna boot it up again just to show you guys it's Zell. And um, you know, he's got a remote with it. Here's Zell actually. There we go. And um, anyway, let me boot it up to the other screen, and I'm gonna play some music just to show you guys the um, the microphone works for it. Um, it actually picks up pretty pretty good signal. So yeah, Robert, if you're watching this, the antenna is right here. So if you point the remote right here, that's where it's gonna change. Um, so yeah, you got all those colors, and sorry for my mess over there with the glue. It's just where I put my glue gun, but um, I'm gonna put it on music. Actually, let me show you fade. And I'm, I'm gonna put it on music now. So I'm gonna play a few songs. Yeah, there's one song. Uh, I don't really have any songs picked out. That's loud.
guys. So that's the end of this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope Robert, I hope you like your console, man. I did a, I did put a lot of work into it. It needed a whole new disk drive, a, a reflow. Your, it needed a whole new um, metal shell inside, and you know I put a new case on it. It just needed a whole bunch of, you know, a little bit of work. It wasn't hard, but uh, just time consuming pretty much. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it, man. Uh, let me know if you need anything else. Peace out.